Block printing or relief printing has had a real resurgence recently. We're going to talk about printing with lino blocks. However, the techniques remain the same for wood blocks, easy carve, soft carve, stamps, or any other relief printing really. So you've carved your block and now we're going to ink it up and print with it. The cutting of the block and the inking of the block are really the two main things in block printing. Obviously you need to get your pattern correct, but inking it up, getting the ink deposited correctly on the matrix is just as important. So initially we just put a little bit of the ink out. You don't need too much and we're just going to roll it out on the brayer. I would ink up just a little bit wider than the brayer or the roller that you're using. And we just keep working that until it becomes even. And that might take a little while. You will feel the tack of the ink against the brayer. If the brayer starts to slide around a little bit, you've put maybe a little bit too much ink on, you can push it out of the way to the side. Normally, if you're using a sheet of glass or a very flat plate, it will literally be beautiful flat satin finish. Now, these rollers uh, or brayers are really effective and very economical. But if you start to work in a particular size, I mean, even for this size, probably a roller twice the width of this make the job a bit quicker. But it isn't all about speed. It looks even enough on the roller, so that should be fine. And I will just continue to ink the plate up now, just taking my time. You don't want to get too much ink. You don't want to flood the block. But of course, you need to get a certain amount of ink on there for it to actually print. I'll just keep working away at this now. So now we've got our paper on. What we want to do is we want to go over the whole area with quite a bit of pressure to really make good contact between the block and the paper. Uh, one of our 250ml jars, that works really well. Actually gives you some weight and a bit of purchase. Um, another brayer will do, will do a similar job. A spoon, wooden spoon, that works really well as well. And a baron, of course. The main thing is that you're only presenting a fairly flat surface to the back of the paper. If you use the ends of your fingers, you'll have a tendency potentially to push the paper down into the areas you've cut out and just blur the edges a little bit. We're working on dry paper here. If you were doing intaglio printing, you'd be using a press and you'd be using wet paper. We don't need that, just a baron or a spoon. That'll give us enough pressure to push the paper onto the ink. So inking is really important, inking the block up. I'm gonna go over the fluoros and the metallics because they feel quite different to the other colors just because the way they're formulated. So they do ink up differently, but they work really well. So we'll go and do those now.